Hi, I'm and welcome to Motion RC. Captain Mike here. The Sky RC Synchronous Ultimate 1000 Watt is a pro high-end charger. It's capable of charging LiPo, LiFi, Lion, NICAD, nickel metal hydride, lead acid batteries, as well as the new high voltage LiPos. You can view or download the PDF manual under the support tab on the product page. This will allow you to get acquainted with many of the ultimate 1000 watt features. Also, it will allow you to determine if this charger is right for you before making your decision. The synchronous 1000 watt comes with four millimeter bullet connectors and will attach to most AC-DC power supply units. To take advantage of the 1000 watts power, you will need a power supply of 1200 watts or higher. I'm using the eFuel 50 amp 1200 to power this charger. If using smaller batteries that do not have charge leads but have balance plugs, they can be plugged into the balance port on the side of the charger. Be sure the plug is orientated according to the diagram printed on the charger. The set contains a two to eight cell multi-balance board adapter. Included is an insulated banana to XT60 battery connector. Also, a charging cable with insulating banana plugs without a battery lead is also in the kit. I soldered an EC5 connector for our six cell battery line. The Ultimate is a standard four button configuration. Two buttons will control more than one option. Be sure to consult your battery's manufacturer manual and safety instructions. You can set safety parameters in the system settings. If you're cycling your batteries, you can set the cool rest time from one to 60 minutes between charge and discharge. To prevent an overcharge, the safety timer can be set from one minute to 720 minutes. If the battery fails to charge in the allotted time, it will shut down. Capacity cutoff sets the maximum charge that will be supplied to the battery. You can set from 100 milliamps to 50,000 milliamps. If the charger tries to charge past this setting, it will shut itself off. Key beeps and buzzers can be turned off for a quieter operation. You have the option to run AC or DC power sources. You can turn on or off the regenerative discharge function. The internal temperature is preset in the charger and cannot be changed. If it reaches its program temperature, it will shut itself off. The battery temperature can be monitored and I'll show you that in a moment. Under the version, this is the firmware that's being ran. You can always update the firmware by hooking up a PC and then downloading the new firmware. Check at skyrc.com for updates. If you're using the EH or TP slash FP battery balance plugs, you'll need the included balance board. If using XH connectors, such as our Admiral battery line, you can plug it directly to the charger. Under the program select, you can find the LiPo battery meter. This will tell you each individual cell's voltage. Page forward, it will also tell you the highest and the lowest cell's voltage. You can use the battery resistance meter to find faulty cells before charging. For a complete charging program rundown, go to the PDF file on page 14. To keep this video as short as possible, I'll give you a quick go through on the LiPo program list. In LiPo charge, 100 milliamps to 40 amps can be set on the charge rate. The cell count can be set from one to eight cells. The same settings apply to LiPo fast charge as well as LiPo storage. LiPo discharge, the rate can be set from 0.1 amp to eight amps. LiPo microcharge and micro store, both can be set at 10 milliamps to 500 milliamps. LiPo balance, the charge rate can be 0.1 amp to 40 amps. A Sky RC temperature sensor can be used for added safety. You can find it under part SK60004. 
0.40-01. This will monitor the battery temperature during charging in the charger's external and internal temperature screen. To begin charging, press the start button and hold, press start again to confirm. During the charge process, the available monitoring screens are the end voltage of the battery, the end voltage from the external power source, battery and charger temps, temperature cutoff, the safety timer setting, and the capacity cutoff setting. Individual cell voltage, how much life is in the battery, and the average cell voltage. The 1000W charger can be connected to a PC-based computer. Go to SkyRC.com, click on Products. Click on the charger under the Category menu. Click on the 1000W charger. Click Software. Then download the ChargeMaster program. To use the ChargeMaster software, a USB cable with a micro B plug will be needed. Plug it into the PC link port and connect it to the computer. You can set up the charger settings and monitor pack voltage, cell voltage, and other settings during charging. Also, view charge data in real-time graphs. You can initiate control charging and update firmware from the ChargeMaster program. At airfields with charging stations available, the synchronous can be monitored on mobile devices without leaving the flight line. The Wi-Fi module can be added to the 1000W by using a micro-B plug adapter. You can download the Wi-Fi app from the iStore or Google Play, depending upon your device. Once paired, the mobile device can change safety settings along with the cell count and charge operation. When settings are set, push Start, and the charger will begin the charging sequence. Displayed will be the type of charge, charge rate, charging time, voltage of the battery, current, battery temperature, and the charger's internal temperature. Cancel charging at any time by pushing Stop. Because of device updates, the graph and balance options cannot be used on newer devices. Hopefully, SkyRC will update the app. Different types of charge leads can be used. Be sure they have 4mm bullet connectors. Many third-party dual-port parallel adapters can be used, as long as they are equipped with 4mm bullets and a XH balance plug. We recommend the SkyRC dual-port safe parallel adapter because of its shielded leads. Batteries other than XT connectors will need plug adapters. The Ultimate 1000W Charger is a rugged workhorse, packed with all the top features to support any RC hobby. With that, I'm Captain Mike from Motion RC. See you out at the field.